Okay, so this is uh, covering Battle of the Bulge and, and also the final battles of World War II in Europe. So the Battle of the Bulge was between December 1944 and January 1945. Um, so the, the Battle of the Bulge um, uh, was... Uh, now in in uh, the winter of um 44 uh and then early winter of 45 so this was as american troops were driving towards germany after having uh secured france and uh but it was a very uh, large lo uh, loss of life for americans 10,000 us troops died at this battle so a lot of it was brutal fighting with Nazi troops um, in, in cold weather, obviously. Um, and Hitler, uh, this was his last stand in many ways. He had a plan of surrounding the troops on both sides while the American troops were driving towards, uh, towards Germany. Uh, some more scenes of, of this really cold, bitter battle in the forests of, of uh, Belgium. Uh, U.S. troops marching uh, on a mission to go to, towards Germany to finally end the war. Uh, so the fighting continued uh, in, in this period of time, in these two months, uh, called the Battle of the Bulge. Here's a, a, a pretty random shot of some veterinarian doing veterinarian medicine on, on a cow, even. Okay, so, um, so the U.S. Armed Forces uh, won the, the Battle of the Bulge at a great cost, uh, a loss of 10,000. But then the forces continued after that, uh, and by April of 1945, American troops began to enter southern Germany in, in very uh, difficult combat, but they were closing in on Berlin, and Hitler was now uh, totally on the defensive, and, and the American army was... Uh, winning uh, a hard fought, but they were winning battle after battle. Uh, a film about tanks driving in towards Nazi Germany uh, was called Fury. The film shows uh, tank combat. Uh, there was a lot of tanks being used in this invasion. Uh, of Germany uh, after the Battle of the Bulge. Now, now it was an invasion of Germany. Uh, Michael Pena is in the movie also um, Fury. Okay, so as uh, American troops started to drive towards Berlin near the end of World War II, um, you also had the Russians attacking in, in, in Berlin in the Battle of Berlin which is where Hitler was holding out in his last days of the war. And Berlin was uh, really being destroyed in this, this final month of the war. And it was also where Hitler's headquarters uh, were. Um, German, uh, German civilians were fleeing everywhere, um, many of which had little to do with the war, but they were just German civilians. Um, the worst disaster for German civilian, for any civilians in the war, as far as shipping goes, was um, the Wilhelm Gusloff um, refugee ship. Uh, 9,000 were killed when the, when the Russians sank that ship towards the end of the war with um, uh, a torpedo. But it was the largest loss of life in any ship sinking in world history. So here you have the, the Red Army or the Russian Army, or you could call the Soviet Army also, 
closing it on Berlin. Here's a shot of a, a Russian nurse tending to a soldier in the middle of combat. You see German nurses here in, in a battle area and German nurses who were, uh, you know, trying to help uh, soldiers and others with injuries uh, were in a very bad situation. You see a German Red Cross nurse, uh, and German Red Cross nurses are neutral. Uh, they're German, uh, but they're uh, being in the Red Cross, they're, they're, they're neutral. So they treated nurses, uh, the nurses treated soldiers, uh, and also treated even American soldiers and, and other soldiers at the end of the war, uh, being part of the Red Cross. Uh, this was the German Red Cross, but being part of the Red Cross, they, they would treat um, anyone that, that, that would come in, in their uh, area of work. Another shot of German nurses uh, helping as many people as possible. Okay, so the final battles of the war was occurring here in, in April of 1945, and uh, Germany had all but lost the war. It was pretty, it was hopeless. Uh, Roosevelt knew that, uh, but Roosevelt didn't last till uh, the actual uh, end of the war. He came within a few weeks of it. Uh, there you see President Roosevelt died just a few weeks before the end of the, of the war with with uh, Nazi Germany, uh, but he knew that the war uh, was won. And, and so, uh, so he died. And then just um, in May, um, see a newspaper here, uh, Hitler was trapped and committed suicide. Um, so, uh, and that was all but the end of, of World War II in Europe. And then General Eisenhower um, accepts the Nazi surrender. Another newspaper article, Victory Nazis Surrender. Uh, they surrendered the United States, but then on uh, also the Russians, they surrendered to the Russians, which was a difficult situation because, you know, now you have the Russians uh, on one side of Germany who are their dictatorship, and then you have a democracy running the Western part of, of uh, Germany and Europe at the end of the war. But the main thing is, is that uh, the Battle of Stalin, uh, the Battle of uh, the Bulge, um, which was in the winter uh, of December of 44 to January of 45, was uh, a large victory for the United States and then began the final months of, of more victories leading to the end of World War II.